Hello beautiful people! Welcome to the best video I've ever created and published on YouTube. My name is Ronald, I'm from 360 Creators. In this video I'm going to show you something new. 360 Creators has teamed up with Blaze IT, creating our partnership called Blaze Creators. And as Blaze Creators we've been thinking a lot about having a skin inside 3D Vista like so a desktop version and a mobile version and then having this multiple times because we all know that when you have 10 products that you want to show inside 3d vista that we need to duplicate the same pop-up nine times more in the desktop skin as well as in the mobile skin and we need to make sure everything stays in sync with all the actions and all that when we want to edit a typo the client is asking hey can you correct the title here? You need to open up 3D Vista. You need to correct the title. You need to publish the project again. You need to then upload that back to the server. And you need to have time to do that at all. And this is like things that are supposed to be more easy, right? So a lot of people have been talking about the creation of a CMS that stands for a content management system. And as Blaze creators, I would like to present you today skin CMS compatible with Airtable and whatever like the problem that we used to have are, are things now from the past with this because we're going to map the things like a product title with the product title the product image with the image the description with the description and, and the link with the button so let's dive into that here we have the Airtable that we are going to use for this video and this is the skin cms dashboard so in this example i'm using an account that has the core package which means up to three mappings and we're going to create our first mapping we're going to call this mapping anything we like furniture mapping what we need are two personal access tokens this is all explained in our documentation then we need an Airtable base ID. So we get over here, we copy the, this, we paste it over here. Table name is right over here. Copy and paste. We save and connect this. And then we see lots of fields. We don't need to use all the fields that are in here. We only need to use the fields that we actually want to use inside 3D Vista, which is the first one, name. So what we're going to do is we go back to 3D Vista we click on the title and we take this skin component that we want to map. So we copy this, we paste it over here and that's literally it. So I'm going to do the same now with the other three. So as you can see, this is it. We've mapped the, the name with the title. We've mapped the image with the image, the description with the description, and the button with the button, meaning the button text as well as the button URL that are inside Airtable. As you can see, it's the, the leg text over here, which reflects all these over there. And then the link is the same. This is this over here. So, Let's go back to the dashboard. We've mapped the things that we need to map. We save this, then we go to the 3D Vista setup code. We clip, copy this code. We go to 3D Vista. We go to the main viewer, add action, execute JavaScript on initialization. And here we paste the code. Then we copy paste this action, copy paste to the mobile version as well and the only thing left over to do is to go to the panoramas and add some triggers so i'm going to create a few text hotspots which are called product one and product two product three so i added the show components for general as well as mobile um, and I added execute JavaScript. We can do an on-click event on rollout, on rollout, on hide, on show. It really doesn't matter. For now, I'm going for an on-click event. We go back to Airtable and we want to have the summary bookshelf triggered there. So we just copy, paste, 
hit done and do the same for product two. Copy, paste, done. And the same for product three. Copy, paste, done. And that's it. So let's preview this. And so we click our product one. And as you can see, it's loading in the bookshelf. So we have the summary bookshelf with the Laura Ibsen. This shows as a H1. There's some HTML editing inside that table with this, which I did not do to product two. And as you can see, we have bookcase by Blaze Creators. Hello there, this is a beautiful bookcase, really. And we have that as well with the matter chair, same thing. We click on the link, buy, and it shows up 360creators.com slash company. Let's just change this link over here. And let's just change the description, beautiful white chair. And now the only thing we need to do is basically refresh the tour. Click product free and boom, it's, it's that fast. This, this fast, a change has been made. There is no need right now to open up your 3D Vista project to correct the things, to then publish it again, upload everything back to the server. No, it, it's, it's that fast. You change it inside the table, Madrid chair, refresh, product free. Wow. Okay, for some reason it is maybe, maybe a little too fast for me. Okay, now it's with two explanation marks before it was with one. Um, yeah, I mean, this, this, is, this is incredibly fast. Um, so the link right now goes to 360creators.com. We can make it go to skin CMS like this. Close this, close uh, and close. Change it over here. Nah, yeah, should not have closed the preview window. <laughs> Product free, buy. And we go to the skin CMS page. Literally that easy to edit the content. Now let's see if this actually um, works as well, not on the mobile for the skin. So we go F12, developer mode. We refresh the page, click over here, and we can see Madrid chair, explanation mark, explanation mark, buy. And that's all in sync. So there's no need to think of the desktop skin and the mobile skin and to change the image there and the link there and, and, and have that. No, it's just an air table. That's it. So it is syncing your desktop version as well as your mobile version. You can make your changes in Airtable. You can share this Airtable with your clients so they can just do all the changes. And last but not least, we can change now something like the color of the button. So we get into 3D Vista, go to the skin, and we change the color of the buy button to something more like blue. And this is really ugly blue together. Let's find something nice. Ah, I mean, this is also still from the 90s, but bear with me guys, okay? However you like to, to have this set. Yeah? We go to product two and it's a blue button. We go to product one, it's a blue button. We go to product three and it's a blue button. We go into the mobile skin, we refresh the page, we click on product one and it's a blue button. It's really just, just that easy. So right now we have all the design possibilities we want, everything's in sync. We can share this easily with the client. Some cool features inside Airtable is that you do not need to share this whole view with all your data and the 3D Vista actions, which might overwhelm the client. No, we can create a very nice interface inside Airtable, something like this. And we can get set the permissions for what kind of content is editable. So what we can do then is we can say edits, go over here and set the link to view only or editable. So let's do this to view only, maybe the description to view only and that the client can only change the 
titles. I mean, whatever you like. And then you say publish, publish. And now the client can only change the title of each product pop-up. And this is all possible with the free version of Airtable, which is, I think, pretty amazing. So yeah, you can simplify this whole interface for the client to just be like, ah, okay, this is what I need to think of. And you just manage everything inside 3D Vista, how it works. Now, there are tons of extra possibilities with this. When you know a little bit about APIs, then you know that you can connect Airtable with any other tool that has an API, basically keeping all kinds of data in sync, such as your stock um, uh, and showing different text on buttons. So if the product is sold out, show the text, this product has been sold out. If there's more than, if there's anything in the inventory, then show the buy button with the product link. All this kind of logic can be built. It's all super cool and advanced for now. I'm gonna keep it there. As a final thing, I would like to present you uh, how the pricing works of Skin CMS. So, on the website, we uh, are currently at this time in a beta as making this video. Um, and we have three packages, the core package, the freelancer and the business package. It's set up as one-time fees. So there's no subscriptions and going to pay forever and all that kind of stuff. No, it's a one-time fee for a certain amount of paddings. And so most people will very likely start with the core package, having free mappings, aka projects, you know, like you have two virtual galleries and one virtual shop. So then you need free mappings and you have 50 records per mapping. Basically that means like 50 pop-ups, 50 paintings, 50 products. As we are in beta right now, those who give us feedback during this period, they get a free upgrade worth 230 euros to the freelancer package. You get the freelancer package for this price. And on top of that, we offer 20% discount for the first 10 users getting along with us. I believe that's a pretty, pretty, pretty sweet deal. You start with a package and as you grow your business, you'll need a bigger package over time. And you only pay the difference between those fees. So whenever you've purchased the core, and in a few months you've sold a lot of extra tools for much more money, then you can upgrade paying the difference 230 euros to get to the freelancer and the same applies to upgrade from freelancer to business. This is all depending on how, whenever you're ready to upgrade. Now, um, 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 anything else about this, you do not need to pay Airtable for this. Airtable can host all the content for you. The free version of Airtable can go very, very far. Other than that, we will be hosting a weekly office hours, meaning that whether you're considering to buy the Skin CMS or you already have bought the Skin CMS, you can join us in the group sessions, ask your questions, what you need help with, and we're supporting you. So that's it for this video. Thank you for your time. Thank you for watching. Have an amazing day. Yeah. <laughs> See ya. Bye bye.